up YouTube? I'm here today and we're reviewing my solar system setup. It is 800 watts, uh, 24 volt system. And it pretty much powers my backup battery bank. So I'll show you guys how it works and everything. And this was the echo worthy setup. If you guys want me to leave a comment and I'll post the exact setup that I bought. But um, for the most part, this system runs very efficiently. I've been able to run a refrigerator and a washer and a cold water um, tank off of it with no problem um, with full sun throughout the day. So let's go ahead and head inside and check out the setup. So this is my setup right here. Like I said, it's the Echo Worthy setup. That's my little pup, Oreo. She's just hanging out. Say hi, Oreo. It is the Echo Worthy 3000 watt solar hybrid inverter. I bought this off of eBay and the setup pretty much ran about close to $1,500. So pretty decent setup. Um, it came with uh, four LiPo 4 batteries. I don't know if you can see that. But these are LiPo 4. And I do have them running in parallel. And I do have them running in series to create a 24 volt system before also bumping up the amperage of the system. So. That's how I went ahead and ran it. So far I've been able to run my washer, I'm running the light, and I'm also running a refrigerator, as you can see. Setup runs pretty well. This is my other system that I did a review on my mobile system. I have two 33 amp hour these are lead acid batteries though, uh, 33 amp hour lead acid batteries. Um, and this, pretty much I use this to run my computer, my Wi-Fi, my internet. And it runs great. Runs great. I get about, about five, six hours uh, running continuously with this setup. I'll let this um, battery back up to run. So I'll do another video, show you with this little 1000 watt uh, Jupiter modified sine wave inverter is capable of running. And we'll just give it a shot and see what we can run on it. Uh, this setup right here though, I've been able to run anything. I'll throw at air conditioner, window air conditioner, refrigerator, and a washer. It will drain the battery pretty fast, but it's been able to run it though. So it is more than capable. And then if we have good sun outside. I'm usually getting about 15 amps coming in, which is really nice. And these batteries, I must say these LiPo 4 uh, Echo Worthy batteries have been doing the job. I cannot complain. And then I also have it running my outdoor camera as well. I have a little Wi-Fi camera that I use and it runs that no problem. So. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about the setup. Like I said, if you wanna know the exact specifics on it, just let me know and I'll post it in the comment section. All in all, it's been a great setup. I really had a lot of fun understanding and learning about solar with this system and I just really wanted a backup just in case. You never know if you lose power or not. And this has been more than sufficient for my needs. The nice thing I like about it is the system is also expandable. So if you need to, you can add more batteries to your bank. They're LiPo 4, so they're you get a pretty good discharge off of them uh, versus the lead acid where you can only discharge those down to 50% before uh, you have to charge them. So that's why I, I went with the more expensive setup with the LiPo 4s. And so far it's been paying off. And this inverter, I must say, has been able to handle anything that I've thrown at it. Um, it does have the 6,000 watt 
burst on it so it can handle up to a burst of 6,000 watts and 3,000 watts continuous which is really nice. I did hook up an amp meter and voltage meter so I can monitor the watts. Kilowatt hours. And the voltage. It's just been really nice to be able to monitor that on uh, everything I have plugged in. And then I bought this little guy off of Amazon. It's, it's been pretty, pretty nice. I'm still hooking it up, but it's going to be able to monitor the voltage and the power and energy and also the current um, once I hook it up to my load. So this is going to be really fun to um, get hooked up and see how accurate it really is. So once again, this is the Echo Worthy, Echo Worthy 3000 watt uh, pure sine wave. It has a PWM charge controller for solar, but it is pure sine wave, which is what you want. You want the pure sine wave for your appliances and your air conditioners and things of that nature. So all in all, it's been a really good setup. So if we take a look at the voltage on these LiPo 4 batteries. I like to check these every now and then. So per cell, we're at 35.2. Wow. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, we'll have some more exciting things to review. Exploring the world of solar power. Hit that like and subscribe.